This is my dream desk for 2020. What's up guys, Fabria and welcome to Shades of Tech. It's a new year and it's the right time for a new desk tour. You might remember my 2019 desk setup. It was Apple based with an iMac, two MacBooks and iPad Pro. In 2019 I tried different configurations but I couldn't find the right balance that worked well for me. There was a lot of value and potential but it was unorganized and seemed a little bit clunky with pieces that didn't blend in together very well. But for 2020 I wanted to make something different so I decided to use a different approach building it from scratch with only the things I really needed. So this setup will be based on clean design, hardware power, workflow optimization and dead time reduction. In this video we'll dive in in all the main components that make this my dream desk setup. To know more about the build process and the cable management be sure to check my next video where I'll explain how I built it. Now let's dive in in the setup and as always I leave the product links in the description so be sure to use them to support this channel. Let's start with the desk itself which is called Mirage from Riflessi Italian Design. It was love at first sight and I used this brand for many other pieces in the studio. I love the white glossy finish on the top, it's made with thin glass and it blends perfectly with the walnut wood legs and also matches my living room TV setup. It's got rounded edges and the top seems to be floating on the legs. Under the desk there is an Alex drawer unit from IKEA. It makes its job despite its low price. I store all my tech stuff, the cables and accessories and it blends in like charm with the white desk. The horsepower of the setup of course is a Mac. It couldn't be otherwise. Since I started this channel I used a 2013 27 inch iMac that last year I opened and fully upgraded myself but it wasn't enough for me so I decided for this year to go pro. So I got a 2013 6.1 Trashcan Mac Pro and I upgraded it myself in pure shades of tech style and now it just screams power and it's dead silent even under heavy load. It works at 12 core 24 threads Intel Xeon i5 2697V2 CPU, 2.7 to 3.5 GHz, 64 GB of 1866 MHz DDR3 ACC memory and a grand total of 4 TB blazing fast SSD with the base dual MD5 Pro D300 with 2 GB of VRAM each. I got it to be futureproof enough and so far it's been a huge improvement with editing times and I think it could even make some light AK video editing, I'll test it soon. I upgraded the monitor as well from the 2K iMac to a 4K HDR display, the LG 27UK 850W that I reviewed in this video. I love the sharpness of the 3840x2160p display and it's color accurate enough for video editing and color grading. The design is cleaner and the bezels are really thin on the three sides but what I love the most is the floating style that I created with the RGB LED lights behind. It's like working on a window on the wall. All this effect is reached using a wall mount monitor arm, the Arctic W13D that supports up to 8 kilos and gives me the floating style and the flexibility I wanted to adjusting the monitor position and the ergonomic that I couldn't have with the regular LG stand. And what is awesome is that now I can go really close to the wall. I think it's the best arm you can get. It gives a ton of flexibility but it has only one downside according to how it's engineered. If you have a 27 inch monitor like I have you may probably see the monitor arm on the side and since I'm really an aesthetic person I wanted to have a bigger monitor in the next month I'm planning to upgrade to a 5K 2K monitor from LG the 34WK95U so I'll cover completely the arm on the side I will get a 29 by 9 aspect ratio to take full advantage of my videos and get of course larger real estate pixel for improved video editing experience with this approach I was able to free the desk, getting a cleaner and more elegant look and have at the same time more space to place my mouse and keyboard 
when I don't need them. And talking about I.O., I'm using the first generation Apple Magic Keyboard and mouse in white and the second generation Apple trackpad in space gray. For the future, I'm planning to upgrade to the Apple Magic Keyboard Gen 2 in space gray as well to match the trackpad and a Logitech MX Master Gen 3 or a Magic Mouse Gen 2 in black still haven't figured out and decided which one yet. For sound, I'm relying mainly on the internal speakers of the monitor that are not that great because the single speaker of the Mac Pro is really terrible. So I started to use Apple AirPods Pro as main audio output and they are super convenient because I can switch from my Apple devices with only one click and the noise cancellation works great indoor so I feel like the editing audio experience really improved as well. When I want to chill out for some gaming I have connected my PS4 Pro to the 4K monitor to take full advantage of the 4K HDR gaming and also the Mac Pro is connected with a cable to my 8K TV. For my workflow on the go, as I said in the MacBook Pro vs iPad Pro video last year, I completely switched to the iPad Pro 12.9 inch with Apple Pencil Gen 2 and it's great for multitasking and photo editing. To give the overall clean mood to the setup, I'm using Philips Hue RGB lights with a strip with extension along the desk plus four boobs, two on the desk and two on the ceiling. I love them because I can customize each of them with the app and control with Siri and the Google Home of the studio or even use an IKEA remote that is hidden below the desk. So it's really convenient and easy. To complete the setup I have a few objects like the two green plants to balance the color and mood and a custom made by my wife lamp with Himalayan salt and white stones that turns on when the Mac puts up. Really cool! and also a minimal clock, the Timebox Hivo from Daewoo that I recently reviewed and it completes the modern look of the overall setup. So this was my 2020 Dream Desk Tour. For the cable management and building process check out my other video. Let me know what you guys think of this Dream Desk setup and thanks so much for watching me so far. Be sure to like or dislike this video, comment and subscribe and as always stay tuned on Shades of Tech. Ciao!